Being a Love Island contestant isn't all glitz and glamour, and sometimes, being cooped up in a villa with big personalities can cause havoc. Every season, ITV2 viewers watch with bated breath, as furious rows break out between the contestants who are eager to find love in the villa, and especially between the characters who aren't afraid to step on others' toes to get what they want. While some fallouts have gone down in Love Island history, including Anna Vakili putting former flame Jordan Hames in his place in a furious bust-up and Olivia Atwood shouting the house down after a vicious row with Chris Hughes, other arguments and feuds haven't been as widely reported on as some Love Island contestants harbor dislike for their fellow reality TV stars. Here, we take a look at some of the most explosive and some secret feuds between the biggest Love Island stars. Ekansu Kulkulaglu and Antigone Buxton Although Ekansu and Antigone seem to be close friends while in the villa together, it seems things took a turn for the worst as soon as Antigone was dumped from the ITV2 show. Both bombshells were popular in the villa, and they both had their eyes on David, but they were able to put their differences aside and nurture a friendship before Antigone was ordered to pack her bags and leave the villa after a short stint. And before Ekansu was crowed the 2022 winner of Love Island alongside her beau David, Antigone was reported to have shared a number of salty comments about the Turkish actress in a number of different interviews about her time on the show. One eagle-eyed fan warned Ekansu about her fellow Love Islanders' scathing words in an Instagram comment which read, Atakansu official don't associate with Antigone, she's been giving salty interviews about you everywhere. And it seems that Ekansu agrees as she liked the comment, along with 71 other people. Another Love Island fan tweeted, and that's probably one of the reasons she didn't go to Antigone after a party, we love to see that. It comes amid a rumored divide between Antigone and some of the finalists after they all snubbed her incredible after party. The blonde bombshell pulled out all the stops with the massive party as she organized a with a DJ and a stellar performance from Chipmunk but Ekansu and David were nowhere to be seen, and neither were Gemma Owen and Luca Bish, Tasha Gori and Andrew LePage or Dami Hope and India Polak. David Sanclamendi and George Tasker Love Island winner David Sanclamendi revealed a secret feud with a Casa Amor star George Tasker as he unfollowed him on social media the moment he got his phone back after almost 10 weeks in the Love Island villa. George, 23, got close to David E's Bay back and Sue during their time in Casa Amor, and during a chat with Capital Breakfast's Roman Kemp. Laura Whitmore gave her thoughts on the salty situation. The Love Island host revealed, I was kind of watching her Ek and Sue in my peripheral. I was talking to, I think it was Molly, when Molly said about being in the bed with David. And I was just like oh. And Ek and Sue just grabbed his hand and threw it away, like yes Ek and Sue. However, Ekin Su, 27, was seen having a fiddle with George while the pair shared a bed in Cosa Amor before she asked him to keep their late night antics under wraps. Insisting that nothing happened between the pair, Ekin Su told Capital Breakfast, It was hot in there, obviously we're both attractive people and we're in the same bed together. Nothing happened. However, it seems that David still isn't happy about the situation as he rushed to unfollow George on Instagram the second he received his social media back after being in the villa. Mara Higgins and Shauna Phillips Irish bombshell Mara Higgins shocked Love Island fans when she publicly blasted Winter Series contestant Shauna Phillips after she hit out at Molly May following the controversy of her Diary of a CEO podcast appearance earlier this year. Mora was quick to defend her best pal Molly May after ex-Islander Shauna weighed in on Molly's tone-deaf comments. 
Molly May, 23, received immense backlash after appearing on the podcast as she insisted that anyone can achieve anything if they simply work hard enough for it because everyone has the same 24 hours in one day. Shauna, who appeared on Series 6 of the ITV2 show, shared her two cents on the matter on Twitter. Molly May is young, who's had a lot of success really quickly, and not a lot of life, she posted. So I can understand why she holds those views. We all say things when we're younger and look back and think well that was stupid lol. No shade, I wanna live in her bubble. Following Shauna's scathing tweet. Mora rushed to defend her bestie as she took aim at the Love Island star's comments. Surely you know as someone in this industry how lonely and scary it can be when the whole internet is slamming you, she said. You're entitled to your opinion yes but I'm really surprised you commenting on this at all. Shauna then attempted to save herself by insisting that she was defending Molly May in her original tweet. 100%. That's why I tweeted this in her defense, Shauna tweeted. She's young and successful, it's not her fault she has those views. Like I said, no shade, just gel lol. The reality star made light of the conversation and later tweeted, No I need to learn to just shut up I annoy myself lol. Molly May and Anton Danilak viewers will never forget the awkward 2019 After Sun reunion where Anton Danilak publicly admitted that he disliked Molly May after she and boyfriend Tommy Fury finished in second place behind series champions Amber Gill and Greg O'Shea. The cringeworthy moment saw Anton slam influencer Molly after admitting that he unfollowed her on Instagram right after leaving the villa, claiming that they never got along. The former friends locked horns at the reunion episode of After Sun, with Anton saying it wasn't his choice to follow Molly May in the first place and he insisted that she was playing a game all along in the villa and stringing Tommy along. Molly remained classy during the heated row as she said that she considered Anton as a friend while in the villa as she shared her surprise at his comments. Meanwhile. Anton came across as bitter due to the fact Molly May and Tommy voted for him and his former flame Bell Hatton as the least compatible couple. Molly May and all the girls of series 2019 Molly May has publicly admitted that she doesn't hold friendships close to her heart. The pretty little thing creative director confessed that she would rather enjoy a successful career than have a large circle of friends during her controversial podcast appearance on The Diary of a CEO. The Love Island star told host Stephen Bartlett, Friends, they come and go. I find it a bit of a waste of time. Molly May also admitted that she signed up for Love Island as part of a business deal, an admission which didn't go down well with her former villa housemates. Aside from her best pal Maura Higgins, the influencer chose to distance herself from all the girls that appeared in her season of the show. Molly chose to snub several reunion events, and declined from inviting her former co-stars to her brand events after insisting that it just wouldn't make sense for all the girls still be close friends. The successful star's decision to distance herself from her former Love Island alumni has left a bitter taste in some mouths with her former co-star, Lucy Donlan, revealing that hardly any of the 2019 alumni speak to Molly May anymore. Yawande Biawa and Lucy Donlan following the 2019 series, a serrat feud between Lucy Donlan and Yawande Biawa came to light. After Lucy claimed Yawande had bullied her in a series of old Instagram comments, Yawande hit back, claiming that Lucy used racial tactics to put her down. You refuse to call me by my name because it was too hard to pronounce and now you wanna say I bullied you, Yawande hit back after the series ended. 
The Irish bombshell was later defended by her co-star Amy Hart, as she backed up Yuan's claims. We haven't spoken about it publicly because it was Yuan's story to tell. I remember dates, times, locations of every conversation in that villa. There's so much you don't see, Amy insisted. Meanwhile, Yuan's fellow Irish contestant Mora appeared to take Lucy's side as she sent a huge bouquet of flowers to her friend to cheer her up amid the drama. Rachel Finney and Brad McClelland earlier this summer, Love Island bombshell Rachel Finney rejected apologies from her ex-co-stars over a humiliating Instagram Live video where they mocked her appearance and bombshell status. Ex-Islanders Brad McClelland, Aaron Francis, Jake Cornish and Tyler Cruikshank appeared on a controversial Instagram live where they discussed the bombshell contestants who had entered the villa during their stint on the 2021 series. Love Island viewers were left furious when Rachel's name was mentioned as Brad pulled a face while the others all laughed. The lads went on to read out a comment from a fan, which read, Rachel definitely wasn't a bombshell, and they all erupted into laughter, mocking the brunette beauty. Adding fuel to the already blazing fire, Brad, who had coupled up with Rachel at one stage on the show, later said, again, Rachel, not a bombshell. Following the drama, Rachel took to her own Instagram stories to call out her former co-stars for bullying her continuously since she was booted from the show. In a lengthy statement, Rachel wrote, I have actual nobodies mimicking me and discussing me publicly like a joke. I am fully over it and regret going on the show. Why is this deserving of going on a TV show? How do these actual idiots think it's okay to publicly discuss me like that? And not just today. Multiple, multiple and multiple times over. Today a year later and I'm still being bullied slash taunted openly for all to see. Brad and Tyler later went on to share statements apologizing to Rachel after claiming they tried to reach out to Rachel personally. Despite offering an olive branch, Rachel furiously dismissed their pathetic statements. Rach branded their apology as a joke, adding that their statements were put out just to save their backs. I am not right with anyone that's been involved in anything that's been said about me. I never will, Rachel said. You can apologize but it can't be received. I'm not receiving any of these apologies. I'm not taking any of these false statements.